What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Drakel. Welcome back to my channel, Drakel Legacy. And today is going to be an update um, just about what's been going on with me. Um, everything from since y'all last seen my video of me giving my, you know, my, I guess you can say my conclusion on New Mexico, as well as other things that have happened, uh, just my experiences. But, you know, just a little update where I've been. I know I've been gone for a minute. Um, before we get into this, man, Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. Without further ado, y'all, let's get into this video. So, yeah. Um, as y'all know, I have been away for like two weeks, bro. I've been traveling back and forth from uh, potentially my new home state. And, um, and, and, and back and forth from there to Hobbs. So... I kind of just been, I kind of just been grinding for real. I've been working my butt off like crazy, grinding like crazy. Um, but yeah, um, I just been grinding like for real. I honestly just been grinding like crazy, man, like crazy. Paying, paying partial on my tickets, car, just typical necessities, bruh. I really ain't nothing really. I mean, besides me moving to a different state, ain't nothing really changing me. I just kind of been grinding, uh, going from here, Hobbs to Texas, Texas here, Texas. You feel me? Back and forth. Um, but yeah, I'm back in Hobbs currently at the moment when you watching this. Um, and then I'll be back out there to Texas again, probably most likely tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just right now just chilling, man. Just uh, you know, making this video, kind of give you an update. It really ain't an update because I really ain't I really ain't doing nothing for real. I mean, I ain't really new. Ain't nothing new with me, man. I mean, besides me fucking, I'm back doing Uber Eats again. Um, if y'all if y'all been loyal, y'all been watching me for a while. Y'all knew I did Uber Eats um a year ago, and I got banned off of that for you know because I didn't have a ninety percent. I had a I had a eighty nine percent. I didn't have a ninety percent, but now. I'm on Uber. I got a 99%. Um, so I've been doing that. I've been doing Instacart. Um, and yeah, pretty much that. But I just been grinding, bro. I've been, I've been, I've been grinding, you know, grinding, you know, trying to get this place in Texas. Um, and just, you know, just traveling for real. I mean, none really, none really too major. I ain't been dealing with no cops. I ain't been dealing with no, uh, no negativity. Um, I kind of just been chilling. Like I've been, I've been really grinding. I've been really, really grinding. I've been really, 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 really grinding. Um, but shit, other than that, I, I just been chilling for real. Um, and I was like, let me just. Cut. My homie Tommy texted me. We was, uh, we was talking, or whatever. He was like, "Will you make your next video?" And I told him two days. So I'm pretty sure this video will be uploaded in two days. He kind of made me want to get up and go do the video. Like, him, this, you know, my homie talking to me, asking me, like, seeing what's up, and then, like, when the next video. And then it made me want to get up and go do the video. Um, not saying I've been slacking with YouTube. Not saying I don't care about YouTube. I've just been away from YouTube because, due to certain circumstances, we'll be having to grind and handle certain things. But, I mean, shit. He said, hey, we make a next video. And I was like, two days. And in reality, I was like, I really ain't had nothing planned. So I was like, man, why not? Why not, man? Fuck it, man. But now nah, I'm pretty much just chilling. Just chilling, man. Just chilling. Um Oh uh, yeah. Been chilling. <laughs> uh nothing really too major. Just traveling, grinding, um, and shit. Just trying to get things in order. I mean, of course, you know, after this, I'm going to get back, like, once I'm in my new crib and I'll show y'all a video of that and stuff like that, I'm getting back into the shit I was once doing, like, the spiritual shit, like, woke videos and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I know I've been kind of off my pivot, you know, giving y'all vlogs and giving y'all Jaquel time, but I'm ready to get back into my element with other things, too. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm tired of being on the internet and all you see is the same shit, like. I'm tired of being on the internet and all I see is killing. All I it, it, it be the same shit, bro. So it's like I feel like I've been kind of squared away from there. Like I've been kind of like drawn into that type of shit. Um, not saying I want to kill nobody, anybody want to hurt me, nothing like that. Just saying like 
you know, when you just ain't doing shit besides working and Uber Eats and you, you really ain't making no videos, like, you on that phone and shit, I just been getting warped in, like, sucked into the fucking, to the botivity. Like, I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, I'm back on my pivot, man. Uh, I'm back, man. Like, I never left, man. Um, shit. I'm just chilling, bro. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I hope y'all out there doing good. I hope that y'all out there taking care of yourself. Hope y'all out there, you know, um, staying positive. Hope y'all out there, you know, growing and, you know, living your life as best you can. I hope y'all out there finding yourself within. I hope y'all out there, you know, just trying to maintain through th through these tough times we got going on. Um, or if you're going through a tough time, I hope you're getting through it. You can and you will. Um, but yeah, I've been chilling, bro. I've been chilling, bro. Uh, not really nothing for real, like nothing crazy. No police stories. Uh, I've been just grinding for real, man. I just been working my butt off. I've been I've been working my butt off like crazy. Um, yeah, working like crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's like if y'all wonder where I've been, man. I just been grinding, bro. I could say the same. I just been grinding. Like I'm out here um, at the little park and shit. Nothing too major. Had to get away from the house. I'm clearing my head a little bit. So I was like, why not give him a little video? Uh, it's only going to probably be like seven minutes. It's probably going to be my shortest video. Because um, really ain't nothing, ain't nothing changed. I mean, I'm moving to Texas. I'm moving to Texas. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Moving to Texas. Uh, and a lot of good things coming. I mean, shit. August, I'm getting my Hellcat. Hopefully. August, I'm getting my Hellcat. Uh, right now I'm working towards a new career. I mean, shit. A couple of videos from now, y'all gonna see me with my neck piece. I mean, if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna know what's up with me, like, I mean, a couple of videos from now, here soon, y'all gonna see me. I'm have my neck. I'm getting my neck tatted. You know, it's a new ink. Um, but yeah, I just been grinding, bro. I've been having a lot of like weird car problems and shit, like. Like when I was in Texas and shit, like I t one day I had got, I turned the car on, motherfucker did not start, ended up having a new battery. Then that next morning after I got the battery, it was tweaking again. It was it was a, it was a fuse, so I had to change my fuses and shit. Um, but she good now, bro. I just got an oil change yesterday, so it's like yeah, I'm, I'm getting to that point of where it's like I'm, I'm about to need a new car. Like I've had this car for four years, so it's like it's it's finally getting to that point. Of me having to get a new car. I take care of my car, so it's like she lasts. She can last longer than that, you feel me? But I'm ready to get a new car, man. I'm ready to get a new car. Even though I love this car like crazy, bro. This car has allowed me to go to Albuquerque so many times. Colorado, Santa Fe, Dallas, fucking everywhere, bro. Uh, another part of Texas, Indiana. So I've been everywhere in this car, bro. I've been everywhere in this car. Um, I'm not saying she's getting old, but... I think it's time for her to have, like, a friend or something. So, the Hellcat is coming soon. I want to say August, then again, it might be sooner. I don't know. I'm not really rushing that shit. I'm just trying to get myself in order as far as the career situation, as far as stability, and then the car come. But I will have a Hellcat before the year's over with. Mark my word. Um, but, yeah, man. I don't, I mean, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Ain't nothing happened to me. Ain't nothing happened to y'all. I'm still here on this channel, I'm Andrew Kale Legacy. So if you're new, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like I say, man, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate and praise y'all so much. Love, subscribe. Gang. This is no cap. This is no cap. Nigga, y'all see them motherfuckers on there, gang? Trakel time, man. Stay tuned.
All right, so here we is. We got Leonard. Carol Cachard is from Houston, Texas. Yeah, yeah. 34 years experience. Look at this, man. Do parties, trade shows, illustrations, portraits, t-shirt designs, whatever you need. Hey, but check this out, though. YouTube coming soon. YouTube coming soon. Soon, man. Coming soon. Look at this. It's crazy. How many views I got? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jaquel. And welcome back to my channel, Jaquel Legacy. And today, I'm giving y'all an update on where I've been. Um, the clips prior to this, I was basically... Um, Basically, the clips before this, I was basically, man, my head been everywhere. I got a lot to tell y'all. The clips before this, I basically will be talking about how I wasn't doing nothing. And then you, if you made it this far, then here's what happened. So basically, um, I was in El Paso, Texas. I was there for about, I would go back and forth. In total, I was probably there for about like three weeks, maybe a month. Um, the last time I was there, um, basically, I kind of can't talk about it as much. I can't go into full detail um, because it's a pending case and stuff like that. Um, and I'm dealing with the courts and the, a whole bunch of bullshit. But long story short, I was doing Uber Eats. If I don't know, the ones that's been here since the beginning, way back when I did Uber Eats, I still do it now. Well, they let me back doing it. I've been doing it ever since. Um, I had went to a military base. So I go to this military base. It was my first time ever going to a military base. So I go to the military base. I get to the gate. Um, I'm licensed to carry. I was no signs, bro. Like, I promise you. Um, it was no signs, like, showing that you couldn't have a firearm and I didn't know it was my first time I didn't know and long story short he sir he he he, he said we doing a, a inspection some something like that he did the inspection long story short uh one of his troopers or trainees they had said I had a firearm on me and then from that point on I had got arrested I am going to full detail about like what happened on the scene and stuff like that because the case is still pending so I'm only going to say so much um, but I know I'm going to beat it um, I'm waiting on my court papers and everything I need to be you know set forward so then boom I get arrested uh, and then my car I just got my car back because I've been in El Paso stranded for like like two and a half weeks so i just got my car back you can see it says six nine i got arrested on the knife uh fort bliss el paso stuff like that but i had got arrested and i just got my car back literally yesterday um but that's pending so i can't really talk about it for real but in the future you know when everything's dismissed and i beat and stuff like that I'll give y'all details, but I did get arrested. Um, I'll insert the clip so you can kind of see that when I was released. Um, but I, I can't go into detail, and I'm not, just for my safety, just for, you know, my situation. So I ain't going to say much, but I did get arrested, but I'm free. Um, my case is pending. Um, my firearm, they do have. So I got to go through the court system. I got to go through a petition whole bunch of stuff to get my firearm back but the case is once again pending i'm able to carry it it's like nothing bad on me or nothing like that just a whole bunch of metal like military shit so then boom i was stuck in el paso after that i was released june 9th i don't know i was in el paso from you know once i was released they took my car took it to the place and then i have not seen it bro like i will call up there um, every day to the point where I got my mom involved to kind of help me. I got my grandma, really, really my grandma. Um, my mom, I guess my grandma uh, told my mom, like my grandma is like my mom. So my grandma was trying to get, I call her my granny. She was more so trying to get people to help me 
so I can get home and get to my car. Um, then it was like a whole bunch of like, people thought I was lying, except my grandma, but people thought I was lying and the, the fucking, the fucking tow people would tell my mom and them that I did get my car when I didn't get my car. I just got it yesterday and then I came to El Paso. I mean, I came, excuse me, I came to Houston. And then, as yesterday, yesterday, I was driving, driving like normal. Somebody hit my car. Yeah, I've been having the most, but I am in Houston. I am, I am actually in Houston. Like, I am actually in Houston. I'm in like a little, I'm on like a little parking garage. But I am in Houston. I got my car back. Um, the case is pending. Um, and I got an accident. It wasn't my fault. He was drunk. Luckily, he didn't kill me or nothing like that. I uh, had a concussion. I went to the doctor and stuff. Prescribed me some little medicine and stuff like that. But I'm supposed to be getting with the insurance companies. And they've been calling me and all this wop the woo. So that's just an update on me. I didn't I didn't have a video prior to telling y'all like what was going on. Because I was like in the clips before you'll see. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. And then, as soon as I left that after that clip, uh, that's when all hell broke loose. Was doing my job, went to the base, got arrested, got released. They took my gun. Uh, now that's pending a whole bunch of bullshit. They're trying to either they're trying to charge me or dismiss it. I don't know till I get the paperwork. I can't really go into detail, and I'm not just for just you know my my safety. Uh, not safety as far as like, you know, just y'all know, y'all know. I'm just not going to get into that for real, but I will in the future. This is the update with me. I got my car back. I got my car back and I got arrested this day. Like, this shit won't even come off, bro. But, yeah, man. I'm in Houston now. Um, I was going to live, and I had told y'all in the last Drakel time, I said I was going to live in uh, Texas. I went to El Paso. It was cool the first couple times. Then it got it, it started showing its true colors. It started to show its true colors, and then I seen it for what it was. And then I, after everything happened with me finally getting it from El Paso after two weeks extra on being there with no car, sleeping at McDonald's, whole bunch of just fucking bro, <laughs> like just fraud shit. I made it safe. Um, I got some help. Kennedy's people got some help. Was able to get my car back. Uh, now I got my car back, uh, and now my case is pending. They trying to pin on me. Uh, I don't know, bro. They trying to pin shit on me when I didn't even know. Um, but yeah, I, I ain't even getting all that, man. We free. I'm going forever be free. They ain't. They ain't finna lock me up, nothing like that. I don't think it's gonna lead to that. I think if anything, I'm gonna get banned. But it's like, I'm never again going to El Paso. I'm never again going to no basis. So that shit don't even matter for real. It don't even fly no more to me. So, you know, I'm in Houston and this is potentially where I'll be moving. Like, if you watching, I'll most likely be living in Houston. And I keep looking over here at myself because I'm used to the camera, but it's flipped. But I'm most likely gonna be living in Houston. So if you haven't already, man, it's your boy Drakel, Drakel Legacy. It's a little minor update. Yes, merch is coming. New clothes is coming. Um, it's getting better, you know. I'm just staying positive no matter what. I'm staying strong no matter what people got to say. I'm being who I am. And I'm just, you know, God got me. The universe got me and I got me. So fuck the haters. Fuck the fake. I ain't even finna feed y'all. Because the only way is up from here. So make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate and I praise y'all. H-Town.
love.